In this video, we're going to take a look at 10 useful terminal commands that you can run on a Synology NAS. As this station manager does not have a terminal from within which we can run terminal commands, we're going to need to enable SSH on our NAS. So if this is something that you've never done before, can we suggest that you first watch our video on how you enable SSH on a Synology NAS? Finally, before we start, we want to point out that while we will be using SSH from a terminal window in macOS, all of the commands that we will be looking at can be run in the exact same way when used in a Windows terminal. The first command that we're going to take a look at will allow us to see information regarding the network card that we're using in our NAS. So if at the command prompt we type if config, then type the default Ethernet port number of our NAS, which in this case is ETH0. When we press enter on our keyboard, we are presented with information regarding the network settings being used by our NAS. Let's wipe the text being displayed in our terminal window by using the clear command. Next, we're going to use a command that will identify the public IP address being used by our home network. If we type curl, if config.me, when we press enter on our keyboard, our public IP address will be listed. While there are a number of alternative ways to discover the same information, this command can be very useful when trying to set up remote access to your NAS. The next command that we're going to take a look at will display network statistics. If we type netstat, then user switches dash an, we're shown the current connections being made with our NAS, along with the services that our NAS is listening out for. If you would like to know more about using the netstat command, PowerCert Animated Videos has an excellent tutorial. If you need to find out the storage capacity of your NAS, the df command will display the size of any volumes that you are using, along with the percentage of space currently being used. While you can find in the DSM, information about the CPU your NAS is using, if you need more detailed information, you can use a terminal command. If we type cat forward slash proc forward slash CPU info, when we press enter, a very detailed report of our CPU is displayed. The cat command can also be used to find out more information about the system memory in our NAS. So if we type cat forward slash proc forward slash mem info, we receive a detailed report regarding how memory is being used in our NAS. If we need to find out which version of Linux our NAS is using, by typing cat forward slash proc forward slash version, we're shown the version of Linux that Disk Station Manager is currently running. While you can find out how long a NAS has been running from within Disk Station Manager, an alternative method is to use the command uptime, followed by the switch dash p to make the formatting look nicer. When having to diagnose problems with your NAS, it can be useful to monitor any running processes in real time. So because Disk Station Manager is built with Linux, we can run a command called top. As you can see, the top command not only provides us with basic system information, showing us how much system resources our NAS is using, we're also provided with a list of the processes currently running and their load on the total resources of our NAS. In order to quit the top, we simply need to press Q on our keyboard. The final command that we're going to take a look at will allow us to see which users are connected to the network shares on our NAS. Something that is very useful if you need to perform a system update but don't want to reboot your NAS until you know no one is using it. As this is a high level command, we're going to need to work from within the root account. So first, we're going to type sudo i. Then after pressing enter on our keyboard, we need to type our system administrator's password. Now in the root account, if we type smb status, when we press enter on our keyboard, we're presented with a report 
regarding who is connected to the network Shearson on NAS. As we are in root, in order to end our terminal session, we first need to sign out of our root account. We do this by typing exit and then pressing enter on our keyboard. When we are informed that we've logged out of our root account, we can log out of our system administrator's account by once again typing exit. While there are many additional SSH commands that we can run on our NAS, hopefully you now have a better understanding of how powerful Secure Shell can be. However, because SSH is so powerful, before we finish up, we need to remind you that if you try any of these commands, you must remember to disable SSH on your NAS when you finish.